KOR to Sports here with Tom Loeffler here at Gennady Golovkin's uh, media workout. Man, I, I was watching him, I was telling other media members, like, he's scary looking. Like, he, I was telling media members, I was like, it's like being in the presence of a murderer, but like, he doesn't realize how scary he is. It's just, he just has that, that aura about him, right? Well, he's training really hard for this fight. He's taking Danny Jacobs. Uh, you know, he has so much respect for Danny and what he's accomplished inside the ring and as a person outside the ring, but he's, he's taking this fight very seriously. He's going to be on his A game. You know, Danny is, uh, you know, this is a huge opportunity for him as well. So this is what the fans are looking forward to. You know, two best middleweights fighting at Madison Square Garden. It's really one of those throwback fights where both guys have over 90% knockout ratio. But you can see Gennady's in, uh, really in his peak form right now. And, uh, you know, he just weighed in at 165 last week. And he's, uh, you know, he's always, he's always there, always in shape, always ready to go. Danny is uh, one of the bigger guys he's faced, a lot taller, a lot size, the shoulder width, all that. Yeah. Would you, what would you say is the biggest threat he brings to, to Gennady? Oh, Danny has uh, so many uh, tools and skills that, uh, that make him dangerous. You know, his speed, a lot of people think, you know, say he's faster, faster hands than Gennady. Danny's got a big, uh, big punch, just like uh, Gennady has. He's got 12 knockouts in a row. Gennady has 23 knockouts in a row. But you know his size; he's two inches taller. Physically, he, he looks a lot bigger than than uh, Gennady. But uh, I think that's what really makes it great is uh, the style matchup. You know, between Gennady kind of coming forward and, and Danny's not going to back up. So it's uh, it's it's not going to be any boring rounds in that fight. Definitely, he uh, Gennady is known to to let fighters hit him once he realizes that the threat really isn't there. Now, obviously, we won't know until he gets in the ring. But is that something that you're nervous about in this fight? That if he kind of decides to, oh, you know, kind of do that, yeah, go ahead, come at me. <laughs> I don't know if he actually lets him in him, but <laughs> but I think he encourages uh, fighters to to make it more uh, interesting, maybe open up a little bit. But uh, you saw with David Lemieux when Lemieux was a very uh, dangerous fighter big puncher he didn't take any chances in that fight he threw his jabs and I think you'll see a similar thing with uh, Denny Jacobs I mean he's not gonna he's not gonna risk getting hit by uh, a big puncher like like Danny um, you know without you know having some uh, some type of defense so I think each fight he goes in with a different game plan and uh, I think you'll see a lot of a lot of fireworks on March 18th We've been seeing pictures from uh, camp with Gennady. He's in the training with uh, David Benavidez, sparring with him. Yeah. I mean, David Benavidez is one, two fights away from a title himself, yeah. man. T talk about that, that sparring and the quality of sparring he's getting. Oh, Abel's really happy with, uh, with the sparring. Uh, David Benavidez, uh, John Jackson, Julius Jackson, uh, Keandre Leatherwood. He's, he's, Keandre's going to fight uh, Andy Lee on the show. So they're really uh, happy with the sparring, with the quality of the work. And uh, that's, that's what pushed uh, that's what pushes uh, Gennady to be uh, at his peak. David from this camp is going to Canelo's camp. Uh, obviously last week was a major press conference. We were all were there. We asked them. They said, both of them said, Triple G and Canelo, that the winner of this fight, they both want Gennady next. Now I asked Gennady, you've heard that before, you know, how true is that? Is it kind of one of those things where I'll believe it when I'm in the ring with you? Or is it, do you actually believe that, that the winner of this will actually go and fight Gennady? I mean, I, I'm, I'm always optimistic about it. Um, you know, Canelo has his fight against Chavez. You know, if Gennady has an off night or a bad night and and, and uh, does isn't Victoria on March 18th, then it doesn't matter what the future plans are. I, I have a, a good feeling that uh, we'll see the Canelo fight happening in September. Certainly, from our side, we'll, we're going to try to do everything we can to make the fight. That's the fight that the fans want to see. At the same time, nobody's overlooking uh, Danny Jacobs. Certainly not Gennady, not Abel Sanchez. But it's my job to look forward. If there's fights I can put together in the future, you know, it's great. And uh, what can I say? A fight with uh, really the winner of, of Canelo or Chavez uh, would be a huge fight for Triple G. We can all look forward to a huge fight. March 18th, the whole card is amazing. Chocolatito's on it. Quadros is on it. It's, it's worth the, the, every cent of the pay-per-view. Thank you so much, Tom. Appreciate your time. You. Thank, Thank you, you man. Coming out. Seeing you. Of course.